Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's time for another episode of Ishko News. <clears throat> I know I told you that I would be uh, doing entertaining ish this week, um, but I'll be delaying that till next week. Uh, a lot of things have gone on the last few days that I figured I should address. And as you can see, this is the informal, off the cuff style of Ishko News, not the Jokey style. So, um, this is actual news. A uh, little quick update. As you all know, uh, two men were shot by police officers uh, last week. Uh, and I have notes to make sure I don't mess this up. Um, Philando Castile and Anton Sterling. Anton Sterling was selling bootlegs outside of a convenience store, uh, pinned to the ground by the police officers and shot. Philando Castile was stopped for a um, broken taillight and uh, told the police officer that he uh, was licensed to conceal carry and was indeed conceal carrying. And when he went to get his wallet, the police officer shot him. Uh, this sparked uh, Black Lives Matter protests all over the United States, including in the city of Dallas, which is where I am from. Um, the protests in Dallas were going very well. The police were there, about 100 cops, about 800 protesters, according to uh, every news source that I could find. Um, and then a young ex-military man named Micah Johnson uh, decided that he wanted to kill white people. Drop something. Specifically, white police officers. Uh, and he succeeded in that. He killed five police officers. Um, and the Dallas Police Department was able to kill him with a robot. A bomb robot. Uh, but not before getting some information from him from the negotiators. Hostage negotiators. Um... So let's start my opinions on the situation with this. Um, <clears throat> uh, as I've said before, I'm very anti-violence. I think that it should only be used as a last resort. Uh, so I commend the DPD uh, for the work that they did. Uh, by all accounts, before that man started uh, opening fire, uh, the protest in Dallas was jovial. It was well received by the police officers. And this is something that Dallas has been working on for years now. Um, there's a nice BuzzFeed article that I will link to um, about the steps that Dallas has taken to reduce uh, violence involving police officers by 46%, I believe. And the, the link will have the exact number, the correct number, if I'm wrong. Um, but uh, I have to commend um, Chief David Brown, Mike Rawlings, and of course the entire uh, police service. Um, the chief took control. Mayor Mike Rawlings um, uh, understood the gravity of the situation and uh, did the best he could. Uh, got on the phone with Barack Obama, the president, and said, we need you to come to Dallas, basically. Um, and the police in Dallas understood a very important thing that I find a lot of people on your Facebook and my Facebook and a lot of people in the news don't quite understand. Um, there was a post on Facebook that was shared by one of my friends and I was on my phone at the time and I didn't think to save it when I read it, but it had a great little bit where it said, you know, Black Lives Matter isn't about hating police. It's about hating police brutality. Um, and I'm not not here to change your political beliefs, but we can all agree that shooting people is a bad thing. Um, and 
the point is uh, Dallas Chief David Brown and his officers understand that. Uh, I was listening to the local news radio station while driving around last night because uh, there was a threat on Dallas uh, Police Department again Saturday. This is filming this Sunday. I guess I should have said that. Um, which uh, they had shut down a parking garage because somebody in a mask and hoodie had walked in there. Um, it ended up cleared, but they had a uh, the head of uh, guns and uh, guns and ladders or whatever, um, and his daughter, who was a Dallas police officer, who was there uh, last Thursday night, and when she was interviewed, the first thing she said was, you know, um, we understood where these people were coming from. We wanted them to protest. We want people to express their right to protest. Your First Amendment right is incredibly important. And uh, if we let terrorists like Micah Johnson scare us into taking the ability to protest away, we are wrong. I don't care where you stand on Black Lives Matter. That point stands true to every American. Um, just like the freedom of religion, right to bear arms. Um, last week I covered the unenumerated rights, of course. Um, it's a ridiculously important right, in my opinion, to be able to uh, address your grievances with the government, whether others agree with it or not. Um, the reality is, uh, if we take one group's ability to uh, protest away, we can be we can have our own taken. Um, I would accept millions of peaceful uh, Westboro Baptist protests before I would allow any group to have their protest rights taken away. That doesn't say that I don't think that uh, people should counter-protest the Westboro Baptist, because I'm completely okay with counter-protesting Westboro Baptist. But the point is to keep it peaceful. Uh, in Dallas, what it has proven to me is one, uh, one man can ruin everybody's good time, but two, we have one of the best police forces in the United States, possibly in the world. Um, we have a government that understands that criticizing the government is a part of government, is a part of being a patriot. Again, whether you agree with Black Lives Matter or not, the point is the ability to criticize your government is one of the most important rights we have. Um, and I appreciate the hell out of that, quite frankly. Uh, I've seen a lot of people complaining that the Black Lives Matter movement, oh, as soon as somebody shoots, uh, they're running to the cops, but um, you've missed the point. Uh, if you... Uh, what is it somebody said? Well, what would these people do if the cops just stopped doing their job? So here's the problem with that. If the police stop doing their job because they're criticized, they're not police. They're a protection racket. They're extorting the citizens. Uh, and again, that's what the DPD understands. Their job is to protect, regardless of the, if the people agree with them or not. Um, and again, the protest was peaceful. People were taking uh, pictures with police officers. Um, but <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> let me get my notes out real quick. Um, oh, yeah. I wanted to talk a little bit about our Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, who called the protesters hypocrites for running to the police, like I just said. Um, 
Dan, you are exactly what Black Lives Matter is protesting. Um, specifically a government who ignores black issues and minority issues in general. Um, uh, because you can. Um, you know, Greg Abbott, the governor, definitely didn't say anything like that. He said it's a time for unity. And I don't always agree with our governor, but I do on that. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Patrick. <sighs> Hypocrisy is not being willing to listen to the Black, Lider, Black Lives Matter protesters and then expecting them to listen to you. That's hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is not saying we need to criticize our government because we need our government to help us. Um, asking the police for help is actually the exact opposite of hypocrisy from the Black Lives Matter. Uh, the whole point is asking for police and governmental help. It is trying to end systemic racism. Um, and until we get to a point where 40% of unarmed people who are shot by police officers aren't made up of 6% of the overall population, uh, we have work to do. And that isn't to say we aren't getting better. Um, any artist, any musician, any athlete will tell you that the goal of practice is to get better than you were yesterday. Uh, there is no such thing as perfect. There will never be. So if your goal is perfect or nothing, you accomplish nothing. But if you try, and you set goals that are realistic, you can accomplish the world. Um, you know, relations between African Americans, black Americans, and the government and the police are never going to be perfect. But they're not perfect even for white people. They're not perfect for Asians. They're surely not perfect for Native Americans or Hispanic people. That's not the point. The point is to make it better. And that is something we can always do. So if you have a problem with complaining about the government or the police or the military, you are missing the point. No one, including our police service, is perfect. To say that does not mean I am condemning our police service. Quite the opposite. Again, Dallas, since 2009, has reduced violence from police officers by 46%. That is amazing. That is beautiful. That is a great job. There is always more work to do. If you don't believe that, you become complacent. You stagnate and things start to get worse. We don't want that. That's my point. And I am of the opinion that that's the point of Black Lives Matter. Not everybody. Not everybody in a movement thinks the same way. Um, but the movement leaders and the people who were at the rally on Thursday in Dallas absolutely think that Micah Johnson was wrong. So let's not pretend that he represents the movement. The Dallas police officers who were shot. DPD Senior Corporal Lauren Ahrens, DPD Officer Michael Kroll, DPD Sergeant Michael Smith, Dart Officer Brett Thompson, 43, the first Dart Officer to have ever been killed in the line of duty. For those of you who don't live in Dallas, Dart stands for Dallas Area Rapid Transit. Um, it's been in existence since 1989. 
it's been almost 30 years and this is the first death and finally DPD officer Patrick Zamaripa who was an Iraq war veteran Micah Johnson killed another veteran. Now, I want to note that DPD put out a picture of a, a man named Mark Hughes saying he was a suspect. Uh, he did nothing wrong. By the time he found out he's a suspect, he had already uh, given over his gun to the police. And he then went and found an officer and was questioned for 30 minutes and released. Uh, after that, I have still seen people posting him as a suspect. He did nothing wrong. He has received death threats. He did nothing wrong. Um, he was just a protester and he was exercising his right in Texas to free carry. So, if you've done anything or said anything badly about him, please apologize. Otherwise, forget his name. <sighs> One last note. Um, Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter. Whenever somebody says the phrase, all lives matter, all I can think is animal farm. Uh, all animals are created equal, but some are more equal than others. Uh, you're, you're missing the point. The point is that black people are more likely to be poor, more likely to be uneducated, um, more likely to be incarcerated, and more likely to be killed by police uh, per capita I hear a lot of people say well more white people are killed by police every year white people make up 70 some odd percent of the population blacks make up 15 less than 15 percent black people make up less than 15 percent of the population they make a much higher percentage of police that are killed than that um, that's what we're talking about when we say Black Lives Matter. It's not that others don't. It's that we need to remind ourselves that black people are people too. Uh, and I think that whether you agree that that's what Black Lives Matter is or not, I think that it's important to look at the numbers and encourage uh, education, uh, research into... Uh, poverty, into lack of education, into police violence, and many other things. Um, I don't think you have to be on either side of the Black Lives Matter issue to agree with that. All right. I think that that's a universal idea, um, and I encourage it. So again, I want to conclude with thanking the Dallas Police Department and thanking the people of Dallas. Um, in these last few days, we have proven that we are one of the greatest cities in the world and that nothing will stop us from exercising our freedoms and that our police department is one of the greatest in the world. So he, today, I'd like to ask you all to find a loved one and hug them. Find a police officer and thank them, um, especially if you live in Dallas. And remember one important thing. This man, Micah Johnson, is a terrorist. His goal is to make you afraid to live your life in happiness. And the only way to win in the long run is to make people who want to be like him 
understand that we will not be defeated so easily. Until next time, I'm Jacob, and this has been Ishko News. <laughs>